Today we're checking in, we're going to talk about spring and summer styles. The hot trendy pieces, but maybe we could dress them a little more classic. So you're on trend, but with your own sense of style. So, so we're first, a top like this, I've said it before in a video, I'm saying it again. It has a mesh style look through it. It's kind of punched out, it has a whole bunch of holes. These are a great toss on piece that are trendy yet classic. It's going to get you through a whole bunch of seasons. Even in the winter, you could throw something like this on over a turtleneck or a long sleeve shirt. We have to make the most out of these pieces. I'm going to slip this off and we're going to look at a romper style trend. Now, yes, it's back. I could hardly believe it myself, but the one piece outfit that just kind of cinches in somewhere along the waist um, this is actually unique in the fact that it's two pieces. I actually have a tie around my waist here, and then this zips up the back. Now what I love about this is it's great for all body types. Even if you're curvy at the hips, you could look at me and say, mm, I don't think so, Marie. But you know what? It's true. We have a peplum style seam here, which makes the smallest part of the body appear to be up here so no matter what the hip size is it draws the eye and being that it's a conforming pattern throughout it's very disguising and extremely um complementary to your body i also like this for smaller busted women but it works just as well for larger busted with the ruching along the top that small pleats it disguises, but it also enhances. So it's very, very beneficial to every body style. This particular one has elastic along the back, so it really helps to stretch and not feel so confined. So the romper style is definitely a big trend. Now with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and slip this off, and we're going to look at the um, true romper, which, like I said, is a huge trend right now. Now this one is black. I like it because it's a great material. It's gonna take me right through summer. I have a little strap here. I don't necessarily like to do a whole lot of um, shoulders for mine anyways. I tend to have larger shoulders. So what we're going to look at here is, this is just an elastic band at the waist. What's good about this is you could always take and pop a belt at the waist a colorful belt is going to bring attention to that area so if you do have a waist if that tends to be the tiniest part of your body go ahead and throw a colorful belt and you can see how that breaks up the continuity of the outfit but also draws attention so you can sling it low or you could bring it up a little higher at your natural waist if you wanted another great option with this I mentioned I don't necessarily like to show my shoulders is um, to cover up with a scarf. I can leave it wide, drape it off my shoulders, and then what I would probably do is um, twist it and take a pin, and I would do like a little pin here, and or a brooch, or even take an earring, a fun, like a big um, sparkly earring, stab it right through, put the back in, and it holds it there, okay? So um, that, or of course, I could bring it right up onto my neck and do the traditional um, wrap, however I like to wear my scarves, okay? Lastly with this, again, if you want to, actually I have two more options with this one. Cover up a little bit more again. I love to take these little sweaters and not necessarily leave it open, although you could, but again, establishing a little bit of a waist. I'm just gonna take and do a one tie here, which you've seen me do before, right? And now all of a sudden, I just feel like it's a completely different look. It breaks it up and it almost looks like a top and bottom instead of just a romper. Again, we have to make the most out of these things. Next, I'm going to take just a, um, a tank top, an oversized tank. And I'm going to throw this over the top. And again, it breaks up the whole romper look, but you get multi-purposes out of it. So again, we just have a big um, tank here. What I would probably do is take and tie it or 
do something off to the side to break it up a little bit. And then it just looks like I have a tank underneath uh, covering up. You could also take that belt and leave it down, bring the belt to the outside, create yourself a waist, and then just kind of pick this up and um, make it puckery around, however um, it works for you, okay? Then lastly, let's look at the tube top, which has come back in full force. It's absolutely a must-have, whether you're layering it or not, the tube top is in. Now, the beautiful thing about a tube top also is that if you have two of them, you can make it into a beautiful dress, okay? So I have to use two different sizes, small um, and larger, smaller up here, larger down here. That way uh, it covers my hips. I don't necessarily like a mini skirt look, but uh, again, the tube top is a must have. With having said what I already have, where I don't really do the whole shoulder re revealing thing, um, I would take either that white sweater I had on before, toss it over my shoulders, I'd do a scarf, or again, the spring staple is a jean jacket, dark wash, and you can wear it with so many different things. I hope you enjoyed it. There's only one unique and beautiful you, and we are going to capture that.